Hello my lovelies and welcome back. Today it's all about the best rated or top rated makeup under $10. Everything's from the drugstore. It's all the brands we love and use. So let's just jump into it. We have some really good products. Starting with eyeshadow primer. This is by Wet n Wild. Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. It's $5.49. This has a little over 1,600 reviews. It's gonna prime your lids, set your eyeshadow for the day. And it's this like thick consistency but creamy at the same time. For eyeshadow palette, we have these ones by e.l.f. This is their bite-sized eyeshadow palettes. And then this one right here, this is the one I wanna use today called Truffles. The fall, winter, I think this is just so stunning. And each little palette is $3, which I think is incredible. I'm gonna take this brown matte shade. I'm gonna start working that from the outer to the inner corner. I'm just gonna go in a couple of times. I'm gonna take a smaller little brush and I'm gonna take this darker shade. I'm gonna focus a lot of that on the outer corner and then bring it up into the crease and then in the inner corner. And I'm not dipping my brush too hard in there also. So you can see these are actually really pigmented and very creamy and blendable. I'm gonna take this shadow right here on a little shadow brush. I'm gonna first use it without any kind of setting spray, but then I want to intensify even more. I love this shadow. It's so pretty. I'm going to apply it from the inner corner to the outer corner. I'm just going to go back in that darker brown shade first. And just go over, soften those edges up. And then I'm going to take kind of like a fluffy angled brush. I'm going to take the darkest shadow, this black. It does have a little bit of sparkle in it, which is perfect for this look. And I'm just going to stamp it right here basically prepping it for like the liquid eyeliner okay so one thing i've been actually doing for my eyeshadow i use like a loose powder like a setting powder this was also one of the winners one of the top sellers this right here is by maybelline their fit me loose finishing powder and this powder retails for seven dollars and 99 cents and it has over 1200 reviews so what i like to do i like to take a fluffy brush and dip it into the powder and kind of work it into the brush. And then basically take this on the outer portions and very gently kind of diffuse everything. And I find that kind of just does the job for me with blending. For eyeliner, this is by Revlon. This is their liquid liner. I have shade black brown, that's the shade. And it is $8.99. This is definitely not a super, super fine tip, but you can have pretty good control with it. It's kind of like a sponge in a way. And you can see how fast it dries down to a beautiful matte black brown. I'm taking a little bit of Revlon there. Just a gel eyeliner. It's their vinyl eyeliner in, what color are you? Mighty Mocha, and I'm just tight lining. And these eyeliners are so intense. They set so fast, like super fast. I like to use them in my tight line and waterline. For mascara primer, we have the famous L'Oreal Voluminous Base. It's $8.99. And then for the mascara, this one, I mean, this is just a classic. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume for $9.99. And this one has over 9,500 reviews. And the mascara primer has over 4,400. I'm gonna kind of layer this on a little bit extra than I normally would, just because the eye eyeliner is a little bit more intense today. I find that this lash primer works with Honestly, any mascara. And this mascara is just a classic. Gives you the volume, gives you the length. I just find that it's not the longest lasting on me. And because that brush is so big, <laughs> I need to do sometimes a little bit of cleanup here and there. For primer, this is by Maybelline. This is their Master Prime. This is their Blur Plus Pour Minimize. $9.99 right under $10. All of these primers, they have a little over 11,000 reviews, really highly rated. Let's put this one on. And it's like a typical primer where it has that dimethicone feeling. It's a little also greasy feeling in my opinion. It's not my favorite primer to use, but if you want something that's going to kind of like fill and blur your skin, it's, it's a really good, great option. And a little goes a long way, in my opinion. But you can see like my face looks airbrushed. It's 
a little more smooth. It's a little more diffused. For foundation, it's the Maybelline. This is their Dewy Plus Smooth. It's their Fit Me foundation for normal to dry skin. But even if you have oily skin, I find that this works for so many different skin types. This right here is $7.99. It has over 18,000 reviews. I have 105 Fair Ivory and then 115 Ivory. One thing I will complain about it, it doesn't have a pump. <laughs> That's the only thing. I know you can you can buy pumps, but it's just like the one thing. Let me actually shake this. I haven't I haven't shaken the 105. I'm gonna shake it real good. 115, it's very, very pink undertone. And then 105, it's a little more neutral with a little peach. And I took way too much, but you can see. You really customize the shade. Maybe I will take a little bit of 120 actually. You can use a brush, a dampened sponge, whatever you prefer. I'm just gonna take a brush. That color is a little off. I did a bad job with my cocktail. <laughs> Another thing I will complain about this foundation, it has, it's very, really heavily fragranced. It's not bad, but it's kind of a mixture between like a bathroom spray and baby powder. I find that with this foundation, you get a really solid medium coverage. It's buildable, but like with this primer, because it's not a super dewy primer, it's more of like an airbrushed velvety smoothing primer. You can see that the finish of this foundation, it matches the finish of the primer. So that's why I'm saying a lot of skin types can wear this foundation. It's not just too normal to do, normal to dry. I'm more normal to oily, but I am a little bit more normal to dry right now just because of the weather and my, you know, pregnancy skin. But it does blend really easy, really seamlessly, and it does build up really nicely as well. For eyebrows, we have the L'Oreal. This is their Brow Stylist Definer. I have shade Ash Brown, $8.99. This has over 3,200 reviews. It's a very typical pencil. That's a retractable pencil with a spoolie on one side and the pencil on the other. It's creamy, it's pigmented, sticks to your brows, and it lasts all day long. To set my brows, we're gonna use Essence, their Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. And this has fibers in it as well. So it's kind of reminding me of the Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm gonna use shade number three, Soft Brown. Well, it's Soft Brownie Brows. But this is really nice. And I do find that I have to use a little bit of a lighter hand. This brow mascara, it is $2.99 and it has over 1,600 reviews. Let's move on to concealer. This right here is by NYX and this is their HD Concealer Wand Medium Coverage Under Eye Concealer. This is $6 and it has over 5,400 reviews. I will say the one thing about this concealer is a shade range. They have a lot of different shades, but then like when you actually get it in person, you kind of have to mix a lot of shades to get your perfect shade. So I'm just gonna mix two and three together. You do get a nice little doe foot applicator. I'm gonna take a little brush. Actually, I'm gonna take my dampened sponge. And this concealer is, it's like a light to medium coverage, but it does layer pretty nice. Before I set the under eyes, even though I find that with this concealer, you don't really have to set your under eyes, but I do wanna use a setting powder. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Putty, Brown, Putty Blush in, what is this? I think it's Tahiti. And this is $6. It has almost 500 reviews and it's one of my favorite cream blushes from the drugstore. I mean, just e.l.f. has been killing it with their putty bronzer and blush game. So, so beautiful. It's so easy to blend. It's pigmented to a point where it's not scary to use. It's just so pretty. It's, I love these blushes. Let's move on to the setting powder. And this is the one I already talked about that I used for my eyeshadow, the Maybelline Fit, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I'm gonna use a small little brush and work this into the brush itself. Like I said, you don't need to set this concealer, but I want to, since we're already kind of going with that primer anyways. This is just going to blur everything out even more. And now I'm gonna quickly finish under the lash line with my eyeshadows. I'm gonna take like a smaller little brush. I'm gonna take these two shades together, the two matte shadows, the brown ones, and really focus it on the outer corner. Mascara to the lower lash line. I actually never prime the lower lash line. 
I just don't like a lot of mascara on the lower lash line. For bronzer, we have Wet n Wild, their color icon bronzer. I have two shades. We have Ticket to Brazil and What Shady Beaches. This right here is $5.49 and over 2,900 reviews. I will say I think this bronzer is beautiful. It's definitely more of like a topper bronzer. You can't really sculpt your face with this. It's not like a sculpting plus a bronzer in one. So it's definitely more of like a topper on top of your contour. This right here, it's a little too orange and light. And then this right here is just too muddy looking. So I kind of like to mix the two together. And I like to use a big fluffy brush for this. It's nice and pigmented. It's really creamy and buttery. But again, it's a good bronzer to kind of just top all over your face, you know? Give your cheeks that warmth and your face that warmth. For blush, Maybelline, their Fit Me blush. I really, really like these ones. $5.99 cents and it has over a thousand reviews this shade in particular is called mauve or mauve <laughs> however you like to pronounce it but i do like this one because it does have shimmer to it but the shimmer it's more of like a glow and a luminosity on your cheeks it's not just like glitter on your cheeks and i think with this base because it is a little bit more diffused and softer I can get away with more of like a glowy blush. I think this is such a beautiful neutral pink. This blush is a little more powdery, but it does blend really, really beautifully on the cheeks. For highlighter by Maybelline, their Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. This right here retails for $9.99, right under 10. Has over 345 reviews, and I have shade Rose Gold Molten number 50. These highlighters are very beautiful. They're very intense. So I do like to apply it first with a brush and then go over with like a dampened sponge to really kind of help melt this in because they are so metallic and they are a little bit more powdery, but they are beautiful. Then I just take my dampened sponge and just very gently pat this in. I find that this kind of helps melt everything in. So for lip liners, we have the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. These ones had over 16,000, almost 17,000 reviews, and these retail each for $7.99. I will say these are very, very creamy. They're very pigmented, but I find that I wish they had more like skin tone color, either more brown, more beige, more soft, because a lot of their like nude shades they're a little too pink or they're a little too orange. That's that's the one thing I will complain about. But I do love their reds and their darker shadows, their darker shades. I also love that this, this lip liner comes with a little sharpener at the very bottom just to kind of give you a nice tip because this is such a creamy, like a gel consistency lip liner. It kind of loses its shape really quickly. So if you wanna be a little more precise, you have that included, which I think is really nice. So for lipstick, we're gonna go with the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Color. This right here retails for $8.95 and it has over 2,100 reviews. And I am going to use number 800, which is Fairest Nude. I love, love this shade. It's a really, really beautiful, soft, like, like soft pink. The best setting spray that had the most reviews, this one right here is by Wet n Wild. This is their photos. Photo Focus Setting Spray it for $5.99 and I got the natural finish. This right here has over 3,900 reviews and I really do like this one, but I don't like to spray my entire face. I like to spray the sponge and then kind of use a sponge to set everything. And it is a little bit fragrance. It's kind of, it kind of smells like a, a floral hairspray, which usually setting sprays, that's what they smell to me like a, some type of hairspray. I just think it just softens everything. The one and only update at the end of the night. Had this makeup on for a little over nine hours. I like the way my makeup is looking today. There are so many good products that are under $10 at the drugstore. And I know some of the products were like $9.99. Some of the retailers you can find them at, they're a little bit cheaper than that. So I definitely wanted to include those in as well. There were only several products that I haven't tried either in a very long time or I haven't tried that formula, but most of those products I have tried in the past and I have my collection either 
in a similar color or just that same color and I've just repurchased over the years and I really wanted to try them out again and just either confirm that I love that product or it was more of like a meh and there's some better products at the drugstore for example like the mascara the cover girl is definitely not my favorite mascara but it's a it's a good mascara at the drugstore that like will not let you down you know what i mean after so many years of using that mascara i still use it and i'm just like okay it's a really good mascara but there are better mascaras at the drugstore in my opinion okay so let's look at the face i'm not looking super shiny i'm not looking extra oily i'm looking good if anything i will complain i look a little dry but like i did say in this video i'm usually normal to combination like oil more oily but because you know pregnancy skin <laughs> it's winter i mean not winter it's super super cold outside and very dry so my skin is feeling a little bit dry especially like right here and just like in a little bit in places where it's feeling a little dry i will say that the primer is doing a really good job still at kind of blurring everything out but like i did, did say it is feeling a little dry right here and right here but yeah that foundation is beautiful i love the maybelline fit me either the matte pro the matte version or the glowy version i think they're both very beautiful one thing i will say about the concealer the nyx concealer it is a little bit drying so i do like to prep my under eye area with some kind of eye cream or even like an eye mask before applying that concealer and i usually don't like to set that concealer but I wanted to use that setting powder. I haven't used that one in years and I think that setting powder is really beautiful. Moving on to eyeshadow. I feel like the eyeshadow hasn't moved at all. It hasn't increased. The eyeliner has increased. It's just, it's the eyeshadow is beautiful. I Those are some of my favorite eyeshadows from the drugstore. I think they're stunning. Definitely worth every single penny. The eyeliner I think is really beautiful. I will say one thing about that eyeliner when you first apply it because it dries down so fast and so matte it does feel a little tight after i would say maybe like 30 minutes you don't feel that tightness anymore but look at that eyeliner it's still super sharp it's still very opaque it's still very matte there are no balding patches or balding spots and i think it's just it's stunning and same thing goes alongside that Revlon gel eyeliner in the tight line. It's still there. It hasn't transferred to the waterline. It's just a really intense formula where it just sets and it just does not budge until you take it off at the end of the night. So if you're looking for an eyeliner that doesn't move in your tight line or your waterline, definitely check out that Revlon eyeliner. I think that formula is insane. The bronzer, the blush, the highlight, all of those are very beautiful. Lipstick is gone. I didn't reapply it just because we were home after work and I just didn't feel like reapplying the lipstick. But the lip liner, I haven't touched it and you can still see the lip liner on my lips. I think both formulas are really beautiful. The lip liner is definitely long lasting, but like I said, one thing, I wish they had more shades to choose from. I know they have a lot of shades to choose from, but I wish some of their shades were a little bit, look different <laughs> color to different tones if that makes sense these color reach lipsticks i think they're really beautiful the, the formulas are really creamy they're pigmented very comfortable to wear they don't dry out the lips and i just i really enjoy i really enjoy l'oreal and maybelline lip products actually most of their pro most of their products are just stunning i'm gonna leave it here i know that was a lot of talking but there's just a lot to mention right and there are so many so many phenomenal products at the drugstore under ten dollars or just right around ten dollars but i'm gonna leave it here thank you for watching spending time with me that's the next one very soon